Okay, so let's take a look at the electroscope. The electroscope is this guy right here. It's hard to see if you're sitting in the back. So what the electroscope is, it's a very old instrument used to look at electric charge. Okay, I'm talking like 1700s here, people. So what this is, is basically just a metal box, and it's got glass here. Why glass? Why not the whole thing metal? Yeah, you want to be able to see in there. And then this is really the uh, gist of the device here. That's really just for holding stuff. Notice that this is a cork uh, or rubber uh, thing here. So that the chart, well, what we're going to do is so we're going to deposit charge on this rod here, and we're going to stick it in the box. Okay? Here, I'll move over this way so you can kind of see. So this is an insulator, so it doesn't come in contact with my box. And then notice I have this metal rod here, and I have this clip here, and on this clip it's just one piece of foil. Do you all see that? Just one piece. And so what we've done here is we've folded that in half, and we have the clip hold it. Okay? So that's the point of the clip, just to hold that in place. So now, what we can do is we can put this back in the box, and we can put it right here. So I'll move it around so hopefully I can see it a little bit. So let me put it this way. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to deposit some charge onto the electroscope here. So since this is just one piece of metal there, what's going to happen if I put the same charge on it. If I put, let's say, I put some negative charge on it, what's going to happen to that? Yeah, they're going to repel. Those two little leaves are going to spread apart. Okay, so I'm going to get my charge from this guy right here. He's called a Vimhurst machine, and I'll kind of explain him more in a second. There. So. So can y'all, at least those of you who are up front, can y'all see those leaves just spread apart a little bit? Let's see if I can get a little bit more here. Mm -hmm. Alright, and they spread apart because they're the same amount of charge. Right? So again, this is a very basic instrument. Now, is it very useful in today's society? No, no. no but you're still required to learn about it by Texas state law. So there it is. The electroscope. So it holds charge there. And so can y'all see that this thing is spread apart? Uh, okay. the side of the mm. I know, it's amazing. So what would happen, let's say I put negative charge on this. What would happen if I brought more negative charge and brought it near this? It would separate more. If I, what would happen if I brought positive charge and it didn't touch it? Spread right near. Okay. Yeah, they would get closer together. Good. Both you and somebody back there. Me and good. <coughs> All right. So that is the electroscope. And so notice that I use the Vimhurst machine to charge. The Vimhurst machine is this guy right here. And <coughs> the way it works is pretty straightforward. It charges by friction. So notice it's got two wheels on it. Uh, the front wheel and back wheel, they spin opposite directions and they rub against these little pieces of metal here at those different points and it charges up. Okay, So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go through the basic workings of this machine. So, what this has here is if I put these kind of close together, as I turn it, when it builds up enough charge, can you all hear that noise? Not the squeaking. Yeah. That's a tiny little discharge jumping from one side of this to the other. Now, does that sound like much is going on there? No. Can you even see it? No. No. And that's because it's not able to build up much charge because literally the only charge is stored right here on these pieces of metal and right here. And that's not much area. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect these two, what they're called Leiden jars, to our machine. And a Leiden jar is what we call a basic capacitor. It's a way of storing charge. All right? And so 
what a capacitor is, it's very simple. It's got two pieces of metal with an insulator in between. All right. So you put the insulator here, put a piece of metal here, and I can use it to store charge. All right. And so that's what I have here. I've got two uh, lighting jars right there, and they're going to store some charge for me. You think it would be okay if I turn off the light? Okay. So I know those people up front can probably see this, but if you're in the back, you may not be able to see it. Can y'all hear that tiny little spark? Yes. Yeah. Can you see it a little bit? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. there it is. Tiny little spark. Alright, and so we're able to build up more because we have these Leiden jars connected. Now, if I connect the two Leiden jars together, I can get even more charge stored. Well, that's a good question. Does it hurt? No. Scientific. Sure. She volunteered for you. Up and do it next. So they're far enough apart, so you can stick your finger in between. It felt like someone was like quickly touching my finger. Anybody else? Raymond's coming up here. I would not recommend putting your tongue between them. For I think it'd be worse if you put it between the three. Does that hurt? No, so I know that. See what I mean? It feels like something. Anybody else? You'll do it. Me, are you coming up here? You're weird. You're weird. You're weird. Okay, chill. Oh, God. Okay. okay, so <laughs> let's uh, let's talk about this little guy here. So this is a Leiden jar. It's working. You can't really see those Leiden jars here, so that's why I have this dissectable Leiden jar that we can take apart, right? So these three simple pieces here. So here, I need you to hold this. Fine. <laughs> Alright, now, somebody touch that. Yeah. Touch the I middle part. The ball? Yeah, the ball. Ooh. So it will start charge that way. Alright, right, you want to touch it? Yeah. Just do it. <laughs> Try it. Here, Tyler, you're holding it. Okay. Any questions about the Leiden jar, the Bimhurst machine, or the electroscope?